All right. Hello and welcome, everybody. Uh, this is DSV, and I'm here with my fleet mate, Algian. He is a long-time player of this game, has probably been playing this for a couple of years before I started. How are you, Al? Hey, DSV. Thank you very much. Battle Doing starts. great. Yeah, I've been playing since about 2019. So... Day or two, yeah. Haven't you gotten bored of this game already? Nah, 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 nah. I mean, to me, playing the game is half of it. The other half is the fleets, the people, the the fun, the bad jokes, especially when I'm telling them. Mm -hmm. So if it yeah. were, if you were just playing ships and nothing else, then yeah, when when you're in a fleet that you know doesn't do much, or you're just playing oh, absolutely solo, well, yeah, it gets a bit old. But for for me, it's the social as much as the the game. Yeah, I mean, uh, you have been part of a few brilliant fleets of, uh, over the years, and, you know, I've been stalking you for a year now, trying to get you to join mine, so, you know, thank you for finally caving in. Oh, well, thank you very much for being after me. Yeah, I, I was NCP for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, I don't tend to jump massively around fleets. I was very briefly part of uh, an auto recruiting fleet when I first started, and then one of the NCP guys found me, and I was there up until very recently. Right. So, what we're doing here today is we're going to to look at the British battlecruiser lines, the new one. And the reason for that is because on Capture PFA server, there are a couple of newer players who are having trouble with the line. Also, if you've noticed on our fleet chat, alert. there are a couple of guys who've been talking about the British battlecruiser line, but they aren't exactly impressed. And I find that strange. Because for me, this this line is high damage, high fun, but at the same time, high risk as well. Like if you get focused, you die very very quickly. Oh yeah, and um, it can definitely take it. Can definitely give a punch, but it sure as heck can't take it. Mm -hmm. A true glass can, right? So um, it's not quite as fragile as some. I mean, you go out there in some of the high tier Russian cruisers and. And, you know, put your head between your knees and kiss your butt goodbye if you get that wrong. The the British battle cruisers are slightly more forgiving than that. Yeah. And especially when you come to the tier 9 and the tier 10 with the super heal and if you have like the proper commander set up you can take a punch or two. But that's it. Like a punch or two. Area C. And you have and to take it. And the thing is, is that I'm not sure that I, you know, I know you said that you find something strange when someone's not taking to a ship. Strange, or is it just, you know, taking a little extra time to learn the style? Enemy aircraft um, coming. Anti -aircraft yes. Gun on full alert. I mean, there are a bunch of ships Enemy that, even after 25, 26,000 games, I'm still not very good at. And that's a player problem rather than a ship problem. But for, for me at least, this ship line is fairly straightforward. You are fast, you know you can't take a beating, and you know you can, as you said, give out one hell of a beating. So stay back, don't get focused, hit anything that moves, and you have the accuracy to actually be able to, to hit anything that moves. Right? So, uh, my, my slight, and it's not a disagreement, it's more of a slight characterization. So I, I, I think that when you get used to uh, the British uh, battle cruisers, uh, it works very solid. It does have a couple of things you do need to get used to. So the, the dispersion is very interesting. So it's got a really, really, really flat, wide uh, fire pattern. So if you're heavily, if you've got a uh, an enemy ship heavily angled on you, it's it's a pain in the butt to hit with them. And it's almost too accurate in some respects, which sounds weird to say. But sometimes, 
if you do, if you ever watch that, uh, or if any of your other viewers watch that uh, sly video on turning off auto aim, oh boy, does that help? Mm -hmm. Because the, oh. the shells will land exactly where auto aim puts them, which is good slash bad. Turning off auto aim is one of the little, you know, things that that is the difference between an average player and a good player. And if we all get into the habit of turning off auto aim, that really, really helps. I mean, at Lords, what we used to do was against when we were uh, playing skirmish against random players, our we'd play the entire area. game with our auto aim off, just to get into the habit of being able to snipe without auto aim. And it really helped her. So try doing that at some point. Right. Uh, shall we start with the gameplay then? Yeah, sure. The first game is the HMS Rook. And I'm it's an interesting you, map. Are you going to share with me? I'm a little new at this. Um, no, I'm not going to share the screen. I, I've uh, DM'd you the gameplay. What you're going to oh, do is nice. just... Well, there we go. Open up the Our link. Um, we do a countdown. We open up the link and we watch the video together. Right? Uh huh. Okay. Two seconds. Let me fire that up on YouTube. Ah, here we go. And hang on. Yep. All right. Three. Yep. Sorry, that was two. me. Hang on. Two seconds. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All hold right. On. All right. <laughs> Technology? Me? Never. All right, okay. Grandpa. Hey. How. I got socks older than you, damn it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. um, looks like I should be ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Go. Right. So go this is an interesting little match where, um, you know, I usually hate this particular map. But huh? in a fast ship like the Rook with engine accelerator, um, it's interesting. This ship allows you to take positions that is otherwise very difficult in a battleship, mm -hmm. right? Like you can't imagine doing the things that you would do with a rook. You can't imagine doing those yeah, with, uh, let's say, area. a Colorado or a West Virginia, or well, even for no, that matter, a United States. I see you're running concealment build on this. Mm-hmm. Concealment and reload. Oh, so I'm correct. sacrificing turret traverse. Like at tier, tier 7, you don't get Our dispersion. The area. I'm sa sacrificing turret traverse for that one half second more of target um, reload time. And obviously, I'm going to use my superior reload to farm some damage on the bot. See, it's, it's, it's not, the, the, the shots aren't going up or down so much. They're kind of going left and right. Yeah. So, good Sigma. And a pretty good dispersion as well. Like, when you say left or right, uh, they're predictable. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a very, very flat spread. Instead of, a, if you look at some of the U.S. battleships, they have shots that go up and down as well as left and right. Now, because I noticed that this Omono is attacking, and because he's a cruiser, he's more likely to come under fire, I'm going to back him up, yet still maintain some distance, and keep a way out if I ever need it. I can always turn and run. Enemy team captured the area. Now the Shumpon makes a critical mistake. He stops in his smoke and then starts reversing in a straight line. Well, not quite. Hit. I, fi I figured that was him done for sure. <laughs> yeah, I figured he was done for sure, but uh, it wasn't to be. that kind of, well, not 
quite look, but not quite yet. I, I can knock him down to like a an inch of his life and then just can't quite that get that last hundred HP. Oh, check out the, the points counter. 395, 400 points to uh -huh. R230. This yeah, match is pretty much run and over. We've lost. So what do you do in this situation? Uh, well, to quote the mighty Jingles, uh, put on your carry pants and go to town. Okay, it's kind or of just, just farm as much damage as you can, right? It's fair. And see there, you see, because of those the shots are flat, you, you get some of them that are just flat gonna miss. Mm-hmm. Whereas on a more oval or a more upright uh, pattern, you get you can get more hits on uh, an angled ship. So when you're trying to get a good series of hits, sometimes it pays to have a little patience to wait till he straightens out a little bit. Ah, the torpedoes. Everyone forgets about the torpedoes. <laughs> it's so satisfying killing DDs with these torps. Oh, it's comedy gold. I love it. Now suddenly, we are in control of two of the caps. They're now a ship down. Anti-aircraft gun on full alert. Now, I'm, I'm sensing we can win this. And at this point in my grind, I was still at a 100% win rate with like a 75-80% MVP rate. So I was desperate to keep Engine that stat activated. going. Uh huh. Capture area A. And with my speed, with the 36 knots, I was, uh, you know, hoping I could get to the the enemy ships in time. And basically just Capture pull out a. a comeback win for the ages. Yeah. Our team captured the area. Defend That's another uh, point they, they, that I had to the, make. They had the cap controlled for a little bit longer than we did, so that, that's always a bit of mm -hmm. a pain. One point I'd like to make is how important it is, especially with uh, these battle cruisers, to preserve your HP. If you have your your HP, like 80-90%, um, till the last two minutes of the match, you can tank so much damage not die yeah. and at the same time you know be able to act as a meat shield a sponge damage sponge for your team yeah now i noticed that the heinrich was going after the other nagato so i switched huh. targets to this because it's always smarter to you know just focus down on one enemy and take it out and here here's where you're doing that tank Mm -hmm. Absorb as much damage as possible. And here you can see turning in. And they ship the down. You're demonstrating the uh, turning circle or win. lack thereof team that the, the British battle cruisers have. Fast I mean, ships, but it takes half the map to turn around. That's physics, right? Uh, I'm surprised oh, that they. Followed the laws of physics this much. I mean, it's wargaming. Yeah, well, it's not a Russian ship, obviously. <laughs> I mean, just going, turning, turning, turning. I mean, it's got a turn radius that's best measured in Yo Mama jokes. <laughs> like, Yo Mama's so big, she could be a turning circle for the Rook. That was really bad. <laughs> I gotta keep up with Detris. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think you can even try to match him. Who do you think he learned it from back in NCP? So, I mean, I, sh I was planning on having Tetra next week as one of the, um, you know, guests on this. But uh, if that's what you're telling me, that he'll be cracking these jokes, let's skip Tetra. Let's have somebody so else. So you're there. saying we're both fired. Got it. Uh-huh. Pretty much. <laughs> you're a fast learner. Okay. So on to the next video. Uh, let me just copy that and send it to you.
and we can start with this one. This will be interesting. You'll you'll enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. Well, I enjoyed the last one too. Uh, this is the hawk, and with the hawk, I used a very conventional build: uh, dispersion, propulsion, and concealment. Um, I am a big pro proponent of concealment now, and I try to run concealment on pretty much everything. Yeah, I've been kind okay. of going that way myself, but actually fairly... Re I used to be the, the classic uh, acceleration and rudder guy, just trying to dodge my way at everything, and then I've been trying to push mm -hmm. myself recently. Concealment build everything. All right, so let's start this. Three, okay. two, one, go. Go. Okay, so we have a fairly good match Battle here, starts. like four battleships on the enemy side, just three in ours, but we have three DDs. Also, thankfully, Capture no CBs, and that always makes for a much more fun game, right? Depends on the CV. I got a clear sky and black Bismarck the other day. That was hilarious. Well, today, actually. Hilarious. Engine boost Black Bisco actually has good A. Yeah, well, it's not exactly a pan-European destroyer. Yeah, it's not an Ostrogotland, but it has the same anti-aircraft as the North Carolina. Okay, that's fair enough. Alright, so I see a Gascon and a West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, th if those two battleships open up on me, I'm dead. So, what do I do? I start reversing and make myself an easier target for both of them. Our team captured the area. Did it a machine, I think you, someone called that, and they're not wrong. Um, the Rook is more of a Citadel machine, but the Hawk is no slouch either. Nice what I'm trying to do, and doing successfully at least at, at this point, is Throttle Juke. Like, using my throttle to dodge as much enemy fire as possible. At the same time, I use my Engine Accelerator to just, you know, maneuver and... Get out of there as quickly as we possible. Hit the enemy. Yeah, throttle juke is a little easier when you're going against the US battleships because their flight time is just so long. Mm. I was so desperate to launch torpedoes that I went around the island instead of taking the shorter way. Well, it works out. Target hit. Like, the, th this Kansas is dead. Either I'll kill him or that Amagi will. But me better me than the Amagi, right? Well, hey, what can I say? It's... <laughs> nice. Ooh, Counter-Strike. Although, we still still a ship down at this point, so... Yeah, you know, like Engine we have control of the, the caps, but they have more ships. So, and we just equalized on ships for a brief second. And here, here we see the classic British battle cruiser maneuverability again. What I like is this this island was protecting me from incoming fire and I wasn't even detected. I just got detected right now. So if I was if I wanted to I could have just camped there and sniped this Colorado all the way without ever having shown my sh myself. But what's the point of having HP if you're not going to use it? The, the other problem on that is, you know, just locking yourself down behind the island. Once you shoot him down, you're kind of out of position to take care of the rest. You have a lot, you have to yes. take a lot of time to get get all the way down to we hit the shoot enemy. the rest of the ships. Positioning is, 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 is something you really got to be careful of. 
in the battle. Well, almost every ship, but it's the battle, battle, battle cruisers as well. Keep yeah, battle cruisers. I mean, it's still important. You have the speed and the mobility. Uh, if you're not using it, you're not, uh, you know, using the the strength of your ship. Yeah. Of course, sometimes in some matches. Yeah. Um. You, you'll you'll see use of the gas right now. There are some situations where, you know, you simply cannot play to your strengths. And at that point, you have to do the best you can and try to make the best of a no shitty problem. situation. Uh, I have a battle like that, uh, if you're interested. Very much so. I mean, sometimes the best battles are, are the ones where nothing quite goes right, but you still pull something out. Now, this is a terrible situation. There's a Benson oh, yeah. on one side, there's an Edinburgh right behind me. I have to avoid the Benson Storps. Torpedoes. I don't have any health kits left. This is all the HP I will have. And I'm desperate to take down that Gasconia. Going to the right, here I am stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> At least and Tetris doesn't sing. Enemy team is about to win. Thank you. Destroyed an enemy ship. All right, he's hired. I'm fired, huh? Uh, I'm sure we can find Target a better lost. quality of guests. Perhaps oh, Big D. He's made for radio. There, yeah, turn, turn, these... turn, turn. If you just hold on just that little inch longer when he's a bit more broadside, then you just nail him. Target hit! Exactly. Yes, That's what yes, I was yes, expecting. Yes. And that doesn't happen. I was expecting a lot more damage in this salvo. Uh huh. Just didn't happen for me. But you know, it, it's RNG, it's not like actually the way it's supposed to be. And the counter expires just before I can wipe them out. And that, that's one of the things where auto-aim kind of pulls the shells down into the belt instead of the citadel. Mm. Another 99k of that. Very nice. Okay, so this concludes uh, part one of the British battlecruiser line uh, with Algian. Uh, next week, we'll be doing uh, the Duncan and the St. Vincent. Uh, please let me know in the comments if this is uh, a style of videos that uh, uh, everybody likes watching. Personally, I enjoyed making this a lot more than just uh, a simple gameplay with music. Uh, but let me know if people like watching this. It's, it takes more effort, it, it's more work, but uh, it's a lot more fun. To make as well and i am looking into bringing in more and more uh, you know players um, from na server and eu server into uh, you know these videos and hopefully um, using their videos as well and uh, you know seeing different uh, gameplay styles uh, okay thank you for watching everybody and uh, see you next week goodbye